John Kavakis here with another edition of My Take. Let me ask you a question. Whether you know cars or not, what do you think of when I say Bugatti? Most people think of large cars, high quality, fast, uh, unique, exclusive. Uh, those who are in the know know long hood, big wheels, just fantastic, very limited production cars made by an Italian guy in the late 20s and 30s. Well, but for those of you that are really in the know, what do you think of when I say Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic? Now you're thinking of an iconic model. And it certainly was that, one of the most iconic models to come out of the 20th century, maybe ever. Designed by Ettore's son, Jean. Um, they only made four of them between 1936 and 1938. The Type 57 SC was a Type 57 that was lowered came with a supercharger, it was one of the most powerful cars uh, ever made in the 30s. Ralph Lauren had one, maybe two, <laughs> I think. And uh, so there's a picture of him there, you can see what his car looked like. There are only four created and there are only three known left. So a lot of models have been made of the Bugatti Type 57 SC. A lot of models have been made of Bugattis, a lot of, and in all scales. They have 118th, 124th, 143rd, 164th, one twelfth, one eighth, and they were all over the place because it's such a such a beautiful model. But Auto Art has come up with something totally new and very very special. Now they start by making the interior out of die cast, and uh, it, I'm going to show you something that's really going to surprise you. Uh, but there's this new process called injection ABS polymer, an in, in, injected process, uh, and it, the, this new polymer allows for uh, thinner body panels, uh, smoother finish to the body panels, which means when the paint goes on, it's going to be more lustrous, even deeper, uh, thinner details, and a far sharper, more crisp molding. Now, they've given us something I think is really astounding here. This might be one of the most astounding 143rd models I've ever seen. I've seen Auto Arts Miura. I've seen a couple of their Lamborghinis. Uh, I've seen the Kyosho Ferraris, and, you know, and they're done really well. But this is something special. Now, the model comes in blue and in black. I've got the picture of the blue one here. I've got the black one sitting in front of me. I've taken it out of the box already. Uh, the, the packaging is very secure and I didn't want to bore you with all the details on it. It comes in a very elegant looking box with the Bugatti logo all over it. Uh, it has a certificate of authenticity in it. Uh, so these are numbered units. I don't know how many they're making. I will tell you this, they're expensive. But I think by the time we get to the end of this video, you're going to see why and you're going to think it's a really good value. So let's get it on the turntable. We'll take a look at it. And one of the first things you can see is the detail is absolutely minute and delicate. It's just beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's something else that catches your eye. The piano hinge on the hood, the little latches on the hood sides, the little uh, dots, the, the, the chrome bits on the hood, the, the grill. Uh, which is absolutely beautifully rendered. The lensing is just fantastic. The little gas cap in the back, uh, the, uh, the trim on the leading edge of the rear fenders, the wheels are expertly rendered. Uh, even the window surrounds are really well done. They're photo etched, but they look really fantastic. They're done to scale. Uh, the surround on the windshield is extremely delicate, and the windshield wipers are just fantastic. So it's a beautiful model. And I'll tell you something, uh, as far as 143rd goes, it would be one of the best just sitting here the way it is. But I'm going to do something that I think is going to blow your mind, because it blew mine. I'm going to take my tweezers here, because there are very small features on this car, and I'm going to lift up on the hood. Oh, yeah. There it is. Engine detail. And it's engine detail that is absolutely superb. Take a look at that. They've done a beautiful job on the engine. And again, uh, now, if we just stop there, the model would be well worth the money because this engine is a work of art. If you take a look underneath, the model sits on a mirrored plinth. And so you take a look underneath, there's chassis detail under there, uh, unprecedented chassis detail. I'm going to show you some close-ups 
uh, some of the other detail on this because you really get, want to be able to linger over it and take a look at it. The doors open up. Look at the inside of the doors. The, the door panels are absolutely beautifully rendered. But look at that. Look at the leading edge of the door. We've got door latches and door stops in there. And they're, they're accurately rendered to 143rd scale. Look at the seats inside. They look like 1-1 one -one seats. The controls, the steering wheel, uh, all, of the, all of the material right along the dash and everything is just absolutely beautiful. And both doors open up. Now you take a look at the hinges on the back end of the door because the doors open up from the front. And all the way in back here we have the spare tire cover comes off. It's just an absolutely beautiful model. You know, this is one of those models, I've had it for about a day and a half, and every time I look at it, I see something that I didn't see before. AutoArt has done an amazing job on this car. Their new series is called Gateway AutoArt. Uh, I think they're trying to tell us it's a gateway to a, a new level of detail in 143rd, and it's certainly beautiful. I got mine from Mint Models, mintmodels.com. I don't know how many they're making, but if you want one, I think you got to move quick on it because they're bound to be limited. They are precious. Now, you know, I think $215, $220 or so. Uh, it's a lot of money for a 143rd uh, in, in, in a composite, but they've done a beautiful job here. And this new technology really shines forth on this car, which was so well done in 1.1. They've just brought it down to 143rd in a perfect scale. So that's Gateway Auto Arts. Bugatti Type 57 SC. This is my take. And look, do me a favor before you go. If you enjoyed the video, would you just click the like button down there? Uh, love to have you as a subscriber. Our subscriber base is growing, and I love. I've got a lot of new stuff sitting in my office that I want to be able to share with you over the next couple of days. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again soon.